we are going to golf. And no, Craig Stadler and Phil Mickelson are not the only ones with local ties here that have gone on to big PGA type careers. In fact, Mickelson was here for the Arizona State game, but Phil was on the Arizona State side since that's where he went to play, but we forgive him, that's okay. Speaking of golf, Coach Donovan is here. His boys have been in the NCAA Regionals 21 consecutive years. Coach, take a bow wherever you are. Where's Ryan? Right there. That, we talk about football, basketball, but men's golf, soccer, women's soccer. It's an amazing time. John David will tell you it's an amazing and the best time overall for championships and competing and getting to the postseason in a lot of Aztec sports without any question. But going back into golf, like I said, pre, back, back when I remember as a youth with, with Gary Player and Arnold Palmer and Jack Nicklaus and, and Ben Hogan and all those names. And shortly after, Lon Hinkle was a really, really big name here and on the PGA Tour. Our next inductee into the Aztec Hall of Fame. Lon Hinkle may best be known for two incredible golf shots, but that came after a stellar career at San Diego State. A third team All-American in 1972, Hinkle led the Aztecs to three consecutive trips to the NCAA championships, including a 16th place finish in 1970. As a professional, Hinkle was third in earnings in 1979. That year, in the first round of the U.S. Open at Inverness Club, he took a shortcut, cutting the dog leg on the par 5 8th hole by hitting onto the 17th fairway. Overnight, USGA officials planted a tree, forever known as the Hinkle Tree, to block the shortcut. That same year, at the 1979 World Series of Golf, there was this shot. 16th hole. He did it. Watch this skip. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Magnificent golf shot. Oh, superb. Skipping off the water onto the green, saving par. Lon Henkel, member of the 2018 Aztec Hall of Fame. Here's Lon Hinkle. Boy, is this cool. Ted Leitner, Dennis Wise. I, I've known Dennis for way too long. Uh, you know, I was, I was sitting up in, in Montana. I live in Montana, have for I don't know how long, 30 years, I guess, 25 anyway. And I got a call um, that I was being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Can't thank you enough. The foundation, uh, Dennis's foundation and the Aztec uh, Hall of Fame people. It's a tremendous honor for me. I completely blown away. Got my table here, my family. Only thing missing. are my parents. Um, as a golfer, uh, it's a pretty um, you know, self-motivated type of sport. Uh, you have to uh, do it yourself. And uh, I never had a team, I had my family. And, uh, but I, I, Ernie, I just wanted to say, one of the things I remember is going to Peterson Gym with my father. We, we came out here, seven kids. My parents are both teachers. Came out to San Diego to uh, teach here. Mom was uh, Head Start, uh, well not right away, uh, kindergarten, second grade, and then Head Start. Dad taught here at San Diego State till, 90, till nine, 1990 when he passed away. But uh, some, I, remember, I remember going to Peterson Gym. Dad loved basketball went to basketball games all the time, and there was a picture on the wall outside the stadium, or the, the arena there, the basketball gym, and it, it said, I think it said student body right, and there were these three giant linemen leading the way for a running back with the football, and their eyes are just focused down the field, and I remember looking at that thinking, 
I don't think I want to play football. <laughs> that looked like tough, tough duty there. Uh, Dad uh, uh, got me started playing golf, and uh, my brothers, Toby and Jeff, and uh, we played foursome out of Carlton Oaks. We started about 62, pretty lucky. I made a hole in one my first year playing golf when I was 13. Um, went to El Capitan, I shot a 69 my first year. Uh, um, went on to uh, earn a full four-year scholarship to Arizona State in uh, 1968. And think about those years, 68 through 72. I was out there for about a month. And I hated the weather. <laughs> and uh, I just, pff, I've had it, I'm out of here. Came back, oldest of seven kids, full four-year scholarship, tossed it away. It was a pretty tough time there at the house for a while. <laughs> And uh, I went to work, uh, one of my buddies was a, a plumbing contractor, so I went to work digging ditches, and I was a non-union laborer, uh, running a jackhammer, Don Gandy. And uh, after about two months of that, I called Frank Scott, the uh, coach here at San Diego State. And my, I, said, I said, Scotty, I, I'd gone in and I'd taken some tests, and they were going to let me uh, join the plumbers union. And uh, I said, Scotty, I said, can you get me into school? It's second semester. I know it's a little late, but can you get me in? If you don't, I'm, I think I'm going to be a plumber. <laughs> Might not have been a bad job, but uh, it, uh, he got me into San Diego State. And I, uh, you know, my, my father was a, a, a his uh, specialty was modern American fiction, Hemingway and Faulkner. But that first year at San Diego State, he taught, he called it dumbbell English. I, I, I think it was 1A and 1B, reading and writing. He taught reading and writing so that he could teach me. Forever appreciative that uh, all the uh, 22 years on the road as a, as a Turing pro, all the places I was at, all the hotels I was in. It was a wonderful, wonderful experience. I, I left San Diego State in 72. I, I was at the NCAA in Fort Myers, Florida. I went to Scotty, I said, hey Scotty, can I cash in the return trip portion of this plane ticket? Well, yeah, but he said, you know, you only played one tournament at Arizona State. I think we can get you another year's eligibility. And I said, Nope, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I've, ha I've had enough college just because I'd had enough. And uh, I stayed in Florida, turned pro on July 4th, 1972, kind of an interesting date that I would remember that. And uh, played in some mini tours, went through the qualifying school for the PGA Tour, played my, went back to, Flor uh, to Hilton Head in November for my first tournament and uh, finished third at Hilton Head. Made $7,350. And came home, had a wonderful Christmas with the family, went on the road, and was broke in three months. <laughs> and it's, uh, I got a million stories, but <laughs> it's been a wonderful ride. The people, the places, the, um, It isn't about the things, it's about the people and the places. And I'm so grateful. Thank you for this wonderful honor. This is heavy. <laughs> <laughs>